So, ever since reading a lot of far-right Jewish works like Mitchell Heisman's Suicide Letter or Suicide Note, and even some Facebook posts from Jews who lurk around the alt-right, and far-right, like, paleo-conservative goys, I often see a talking point that having an edgy stance on the JQ or the Jewish question is silly because Jews will often do to their own societies what they do to their host societies in terms of cultural subversion and things of that nature. And it's very hard for me to follow this Talmudic logic and this myopic line of thinking because even saying out it out loud, I already pointed out how stupid it is just by bringing it out. So just because you do to yourself harm, I have to ignore the fact that you're a harm to other people too. Imagine if people apply that to the NQ or the African question. Like, sure, around blacks never relax, but that also applies if you're black too, so underlying problem isn't this demographic of people it's something else like years of systemic oppression or genetic engineering that might have caused them to be bred to be kind of crazy or something like that there's some tangential excuse that's being made here that doesn't really make sense that it misses the point while saying that taking an edgy stance on JQ is what's missing the point. It's projection and in many ways gaslighting, trying to make us seem like we're crazy for not realizing this. No, no. If a Jew subverts his own cultural group and his own little societies, whether it be the rebooted Israel or whatever society they have within their whole society. Sucks, sucks. I feel bad for them, but if they're doing it to their host societies and they're doing it to freaking the water filter is changing out and they're doing it to foreign countries while in their own societies, when their own countries, like what we see with Zionism, nationalism for me, but not the, it's still not okay. It doesn't matter if you're abusing yourself. It, it's the same kind of logic that leads one into defending a narcissist and being in an abusive relationship. This person has been hurting themselves for years and has been their own bully. So I should stand by and let them bully me until I help rehabilitate them and get them better. I'm not enabling them. I'm not doing that in any way. It's silly. It makes no sense. So, <laughs> that's why I had to make 50 takes on this video, because it's like, every take, it was like the video was too fucking short. I can't have a two-minute video. This is Mr. Wonka 7. On that note, suck my dick.